15 Things You Didn't Know About Ukraine. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, dear Aluxers, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Since keeping you inspired is our number one priority, we are always thinking about versatile destinations for both you and your need for exploration. This is why today we decided to present you a one-of-a-kind country that you've surely heard about in the news, but probably not in the best of contexts. Situated in Eastern Europe with a population of 42 million people, today we're talking about Ukraine. Ever since the Middle Ages, the area represented a key center of East Slavic culture, and history teaches us that Ukrainians have always been determined fighters for their freedom and rights. The country's economy is diverse, including a large heavy industry and extensive fertile farmlands, being one of the world's largest grain exporters. Taking all this into consideration, why don't we just cut to the chase and start looking for the unknown, luxurious, and intriguing facts. Here are 15 things you didn't know about Ukraine. Number 1. Ukraine was once in possession of the largest nuclear arsenal. Prior to 1991, Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, which explains why part of the USSR's nuclear arsenal was held on its territory. However, Ukrainians changed their faith when they voted for the country's independence. Thus, overnight, Ukraine found itself owning weapons of mass destruction, including 130 intercontinental ballistic missiles, with six warheads each, 46 RT-23 Modelettes ICBMs with 10 warheads apiece, as well as 33 heavy bombers. However, at Russia's and the United States' insistence, the country decided to give up their nukes in order to receive perpetual guarantees of sovereignty and territorial integrity. The international agreement was signed by Bill Clinton, Boris Yeltsin, John Major, and Ukrainian President Leonid Kuchma. Number 2. Ukraine's Got the Deepest Metro Station in the World Kiev's metro includes a station named Arsenalna, which is very special because of how deep under it's placed, no less than 105.5 meters below ground. This is even cooler if we take into consideration that the station is found on the Sviatushinsko-Brovarska line, which is the city's oldest metro line, inaugurated in 1960. If you plan to take the metro from Arsenalna, make sure to take your time, because you'll need at least 5 minutes for the ride on the escalator, in itself one of the longest of its kind. Also, if you get there, take a moment to enjoy the station's amazing architecture. Number 3. The Tunnel of Love is Found in Ukraine If you've never heard about the Tunnel of Love, you must be checking out the wrong Instagram hashtags. Tunnel Kokania is a section of industrial railway located near Kievan, Ukraine. The roughly 5-kilometer-long railway is surrounded by green arches and has become an emblematic destination for couples because of its picturesque view. The railway leads to the city of Orzhiv, where the line splits into two. The other line leads to a secret military base from the Cold War era, hidden in the forest. Back in those days, the trees were deliberately planted alongside the track to conceal the transport of military hardware. Romantic, right? Number 4. Delicious food is to be found in Ukraine, including borscht. Borscht is a traditional soup popular in Eastern European cuisines, but one thing we know for sure, it originates in Ukraine. It is a vegetable soup made out of beets, cabbage, potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, onions, garlic, and dill. There are about 30 varieties of Ukrainian borscht, some of which include meat or fish. Ukrainians also like to eat a lot of bread and mayo, and rumor has it, they have it with everything, at every meal. Also, they're heavy food lovers. For example, one popular dish is salo, a Ukrainian delicacy consisting of seasoned slices of pig fat. Number 5. The richest Ukrainian's net worth is currently $4.8 billion. Moving on from this jaw-dropping moment, we'd like to introduce you to Renat Akhmatov, Ukraine's richest citizen. He's the founder and president of System Capital Management, and in February 2015, he was listed as the 216th richest man in the world, with an estimated net worth at the time of $6.5 billion. He's also the owner and president of the Ukrainian football club Shakhtar Donetsk, and used to be a member of the parliament. 
in spite of rumors about him being involved in organized crime. Akhmatov's public statements have a specific message. In 2014, he spoke publicly about the integrity of Ukraine and about finding peaceful solutions to the Crimean crisis. Number 6. Ukraine Has Military Strength Ukraine has got the second largest military in Europe, after Russia. The armed forces of Ukraine are composed of the Ukrainian ground forces, the Ukrainian navy, the Ukrainian air force, and the Ukrainian air mobile forces. Apparently, it was the ongoing hostilities with the Russian Federation that led Ukraine to increase the size of its military forces to 204,000 soldiers, or an additional 46,000 civil servants in 2014. However, it's only since June 3, 2016 that women are allowed to serve in combat units of the armed forces of Ukraine. Furthermore, Ukrainian forces are believed to be sharply underfunded and hardly combat ready compared to what Russia can deploy. Number 7. You'll find ghost towns there. There's one thing the world, unfortunately, but definitely remembers Ukraine for, the Chernobyl nuclear reactor disaster. In 1986, immediately after the tragic event, the USSR established an officially designed exclusion zone for obvious reasons. Situated in northern Ukraine, the zone, covering an area approximately of 2,600 kilometers square, is still subjected to restrictions. It includes a number of abandoned towns that draw interest, one of which is Pripyat. What's interesting, though, is that tours of the area, including the power plant, are available at the risk of the traveler because radiation levels remain dangerously high. Number 8. Ukraine Gave Us Sergei Polunin The handsome Sergei Polunin is an extremely talented ballet dancer, actor, and model. He was born in the Ukrainian town Kherson and graduated from Kiev Choreographic Academy. He joined the British Royal Ballet School at the age of 13, and in June 2010, at the age of 20, Polunin became the Royal Ballet's youngest ever principal. He resigned from the British Royal Ballet only two years later and continued his career as a freelancer. Polunin is currently a guest artist at various theaters worldwide, including Sadler's Wells Theater, Bolshoi Theater, Stanislavsky Moscow Academic Music Theater, La Scala Theater, and the Bayerische Staats Ballet. Number 9. Ukraine was hit by a serious cyber attack in 2017. In June of 2017, Ukraine was subject to one of the most impressive cyber attacks in history. In Kiev, ATMs stopped working as the computer system started being affected. Shortly after, even corporations such as Maersk, the Danish shipping conglomerate, or Merck, the drug giant in the United States, were scrambling to respond. At the old Chernobyl nuclear plant, workers had to monitor radiation manually because their computers failed. The authors of the attack remain unknown, but it appears that the assault was intended to hit the day before a holiday, marking the adoption in 1996 of Ukraine's first constitution. Number 10. Ukrainians protested to manifest their support for the EU. Have you ever heard of Euromaidan? It's the name that was given to a wave of demonstrations and civil unrest in Ukraine that followed a suspension of the signing of the association agreement with the European Union back in 2013. The scope of the protests soon widened, with calls for the resignation of President Viktor Yanukovych and his government, the last being subjected to accusations of corruption and abuse of power. Up to this day, Ukrainians keep on holding pro-EU manifestations regularly, as a considerable amount of the population is fond of the European values. Speaking of the European Union, we're thinking about the recent moves Angela Merkel made in the international political scene. If you're curious to know about this emblematic figure in the core of the EU, go check out our 15 Things You Didn't Know About Angela Merkel video by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. Ukraine Has 7 World Heritage Sites Aside from being the geographical center of Europe, Ukraine is a large enough country to offer all the wonders one could imagine. The Ukrainian World Heritage Site includes the 11th century St. Sophia Cathedral in Kiev, the ancient city of Trasonsis, the primeval beech forests of the Carpathians, as well as the Struve Geodetic Arc, a chain of survey triangulations linking Hammerfest in Norway to the Black Sea in Ukraine. Aside from that, it presents a series of majestic Orthodox cathedrals, including St. Michael's in Kiev, that you should not miss when you get there. Number 12. The Biggest Plane Ever Was Built in Ukraine 
Yep, the world's superlative plane was built in 1988 in Kiev. Its name is Antonov AN-225 Mariya and has the largest wingspan of any aircraft at 88.4 meters. It's the heaviest aircraft ever built, weighing around 640 tons, and it's powered by six turbofan engines. After the first Antonov AN-225 was built, the construction of similar aircrafts was halted in 1994 because of a lack of funding and interest. On August 30, 2016, Antonov agreed to complete the second airframe for Aerospace Industry Corporation of China as a prelude to AICC commencing series production. Number 13. The USA is selling weapons to the Ukrainian government for $41.5 million. You might not have heard about this, but in December 2017, President Trump and his administration approved the direct sale of weapons to Ukraine. The State Department approved a commercial license authorizing the export of model M107A1 sniper systems, ammunition and associated parts and accessories to Ukraine. The sale was valued at $41.5 million. In spite of heavier weapons being asked for by the Ukrainian government, such as Javelin anti-tank missiles not being approved for sale, Trump's move remains an important factor to be taken into consideration when analyzing the USA's future relations with Russia. Number 14. Ukraine's got an interesting wave of feminism ongoing. Ukraine's strongest feminist group, Femin, was founded in 2008 by Anna Hutzal after she became aware of stories of Ukrainian women duped into going abroad and then being taken advantage of sexually. The group became famous for their unique form of feminist activism, topless protests against sex tourism, religious institutions, sexism, and homophobia. Furthermore, they started taking their topless protests around the world, having already taken their tops off in various cities including Paris, Zurich, Brussels, and St. Peter's Square in Vatican City. Number 15. One of the rarest and most expensive wines in the world, sold for $43,500, and it comes from a Ukrainian winery. The oldest wine cellar in Ukraine, Masandra, is the one that produces the famous 1775 Sherry, the rarest European wine. It's a potent wine with manly strength, its color is deep golden. It's rather difficult to describe the flavor of such an exquisite wine, but we know for sure it's so good that Stalin himself ordered the Masandra winery to preserve all their vintage wines for a fabulous historic collection. And so their sherry became bottled poetry. A single bottle of it was sold at a 2001 Sotheby's auction in London for a staggering $43,500. Now that you've learned some more about Ukraine and its fabulous vintage wines, we're curious, what's the most expensive wine you've ever bought? Still here? Of course you are. You know there's a reward for sticking around until the end. Number 16. Ukraine banned the Russian contestant at the 2017 Eurovision. Ukraine won the 2016 Eurovision Song Contest and therefore was the host of the 2017 edition. A few days before the show, a dispute over whether Russia's entrant, Yulia Samoylova, would be allowed to attend the event in Kiev came up because she had toured Crimea in 2015 after it was annexed by Russia. In return, Russian television station Channel One announced it would not broadcast the Eurovision Song Contest that year to protest against the artist's ban. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.